Hello everyone, so I'm going to be behind the camera for this video so that I can really focus and plus I look like a hot mess because I'm so stressed. So I thought you would rather see her instead. So yes, this is the Alexis kit by Ale uh, Cassie Brace. She's the one that I was painting for myself, like I said, to replace the Harlow kit as my um, bigger 0-3 month girl. So she is done, I finished her yesterday and she does have a name you guys her name came to me basically while I was finishing her up out of nowhere it was going to be Willow as some of you guys do know that was intended to be her name but like I said while in the middle of like painting her the name Emerson came to me so her name is Emerson Rain Emerson Rain Rain is spelled R-A-I-N-E just to make it a little fancy. <laughs> but yeah, so that's her name. And she's 6 pounds, 2 ounces, and she's 22 inches. So she, as you can see, this is a 0-3 month. This is her travel outfit. Um, this is a 0-3 month romper, as you guys probably know from when I got it from Old Navy. So it's 0-3 months and it fits her perfectly. The socks are um, actually white. I didn't know that this, I didn't realize this was off-white until I put the socks on. So it doesn't matter. But anyway, so she is important also because she is the only doll that will be going with me. And so now I'm just going to get into what's going on and the kind of the timeline of how we figured out what was going on, how my university has been mishandling this whole situation. So it all started on March 11th that's when we forgot the first email saying that spring break would be extended until um, the weekend the week of the 16th so that was the first email that we got and that was intended to be what was going to happen so spring break would just continue but the university itself would be open so the buildings would be open the markets would be open that kind of stuff. So all that was going to be okay. And that was not a problem with me, obviously, because that meant we were, we were going to, sorry if you can hear my roommates in the background, they're watching Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> but um, that was going to be okay. That was not a problem because that meant we could still stay on campus and it would be open. In fact, we just wouldn't have classes. And then, then the, the, the then they updated that and said that starting on March 23rd, all classes would move to online, regardless of if it's a lab or a seminar type class, all classes would be moving online after March 23rd. Again, okay, sure, that's fine. I don't I didn't have a problem with that, it's, uh, such a big problem with that. I just was concerned how it would work with labs and we still don't know how it's gonna work with labs, but they weren't kicking us off campus. So we were still allowed to stay on campus. Classes would just be online. Then Friday happens. <laughs> Friday happens. I hear from a, this is how I found out. So I found out before they even sent out any emails or anything saying this. So my friend, my best friend knows an international student and they had sent out emails to the international students students saying that this would this um, online classes would be for the rest of the school year originally we were going to only do online classes i think for a couple weeks but they had sent out that email saying that this would be for the rest of the school year so that's when i started to get concerned because when other schools have been doing that other colleges have been doing that that usually means they're about to kick the students off campus so I personally directly called the housing office because they were open on Friday. And that's where they actually told me 
that you guys have until March 22nd at 5 p.m. to either have appealed to stay on campus or you must leave camp you must leave campus effective immediately. So they said this is what they told us that we could leave our stuff here. However, our our cards, our identification cards would stop swiping, meaning we wouldn't be able to access our room without having someone let us into the buildings. We wouldn't be able to access and use most stuff on campus. That means the markets wouldn't be open, nothing. And I rely on the market for food because I use my meal plan money. Um, so when they told me that on the phone, they, they said, so we recommend people actually just leave if they can and, and take all their stuff and completely move out. So uh, that started a whole thing for me because I didn't know where to start with that really because usually I start moving out in April and moving all my stuff into a storage unit, which is what I usually do. Every year I move my stuff into the same storage company in this town. And that's important that I've been using the same place because I know the owners. So through this process, I've been lucky because now the storage units are filling up, but I knew the owner. So I called her immediately on that Friday after talking to housing and she was able to secure a, a place for me. So yesterday, Saturday, we, we, I like quickly packed everything and we were able to move the majority of my stuff into the smallest storage unit. So now all that's left in my room is stuff that I'm taking with me to Maryland, which I leave for Tuesday. And like my, my bedding, of course. So that's all that's left in here. And so now I'm going to talk about my plans for when I'm in Maryland, because this is, it was super unexpected, obviously. And like I said, they do have an appeals process where you could stay on campus, but it's only, 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 only in the case of homelessness. And I don't think they would have qualified me for that. So I didn't want to take the risk of them waiting for them to see if they would approve me or not, because people are not going to be finding out if they're approved or not until the 18th. If you're following along, that means you would have four days to figure out where to go. So I didn't want to take that risk. I knew I would be okay moving back uh, to Maryland for this time period and check, just going ahead and checking out completely. So that's what I'm doing. And then, so I leave Tuesday and that's where things are starting to, again, get very panicky because we had our first confirmed case of coronavirus in this county. Now we don't think it's in this town, um, but it's definitely in the county. So I'm, I need to take the bus, the, the bus, there's a bus system that runs every day from this town to Charlotte. And my bus is scheduled for Tuesday, of course. And now I'm, I'm getting a little worried that they might cancel the bus. And at that point I would have been screwed, but luckily I do have a coworker with a car and worst case scenario, she can come get me cause she's not actually in the town right now, but worst case scenario, she will come and get me and take me to the airport. That's like, so I do have backup plans, which is, I'm always good at making backup plans, but hopefully that won't happen. You guys, that's like the worst case scenario. They cancel the bus. But like I said, I, I was originally going to leave later on this upcoming week, but we were concerned about the bus. So I scheduled the bus as soon as I could, which was Tuesday. So yeah, when I get to Maryland, I will still be making dolls. I will still be making videos and it's going to be really nice actually because my Nana already was like, Oh yeah, you can use this. You can use the sunroom as your like your off your, not your office, your office, uh, your, um, work table workstation. So I'll have lots and lots of natural light, obviously sunroom. So I'll have lots and lots of natural light and, um, Oh, that's another thing. So, this big box right here is my oven and all my painting supplies. I'll be shipping that out tomorrow to go to Maryland. So yeah, I will definitely still be making dolls. It, it'll actually be my only source of income at that point. 
um, because of my my class, you know, my job was work study. So, yeah, um, I will definitely be continuing to make videos. I'll probably be making a lot more fun videos because I'll be in an actual neighborhood where I can like walk around with the dolls and it won't be it won't be crazy and we can go on walks and fun stuff like that. So it's all it's not all negative is what I'm saying. I'm trying to keep it on the positives, notes, knowing that I will have a, a nice bigger workspace to make the dolls. I'll have a, a, my family around me. So while I am very, very depressed with the whole situation and very stressed and concerned, it's not all bad. Um, so that brings me back to my point with her. So she is the only doll that will go, be going with me. If you guys watched my live, you know that I put both Leo and Amias in storage. And the reason I did that is because I wanted to only be bring like one like one one gender of clothes. So I j I just wanted to just bring girl clothes and not bring like a girl and a boy and deal with that. So and plus I only 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 want to take really one doll with me to travel with. And I'm going to show you guys why in a second. But yes, yeah, so I only wanted to bring one doll with me. I already have to ship my oven and my supplies, so that's probably going to be upwards of $50 to, to ship that giant box to Maryland, and therefore shipping a doll would be additional like $20, and I just, I can't deal with that right now because I already have to check a bag, I already have to pay for the bus to get, I have to pay for the bus to get to the airport, the city bus to get to the airport, I have to pay for the bus to get to Charlotte. <laughs> So, um, there's a lot of things that I have to pay for and that just wasn't a necessary cost to me when I'm already bringing one doll. And then when I'm in Maryland, Ashley will eventually be done with my other girl. So I'll have two dolls with me, but I'm taking her first, but she'll be, she's obviously done except for her hair. I'll be doing her hair when we get to Maryland. But so yeah, she will be coming with me, Amias and Leo are in storage until whenever I can get them, if I can get them sometime uh but they'll be fine i make sure they're i make sure they were all you know safe in storage it doesn't in if you're worried about the heat it never gets really really too hot up here um so they won't overheat they'll be fine um you gotta think about like we bake the vinyl at 265 degrees so it's not gonna reach 265 degrees in there <laughs> so they'll be fine so the reason, again, why I'm saying I can't bring them is, so I have to carry a book bag, I have to carry the baby carrier, my camera, and then I'll have two suitcases. I'm one person, and this is going to be a lot. So adding another doll to this mix would have been a nightmare. So I can't do it. And I hope you guys understand, it's not that I don't, love those dolls it's just not practical for this extreme situation that i've been forced into because i've brought several dolls on the plane before you guys know that especially when i was coming back from the doll show i had three dolls with me of course none of them were the size of leo but so it's not that i wouldn't do it it's just i cannot physically do it right now so I just wanted to update you guys on that situation. I know everyone's having a situation with this virus, but I just don't want you guys to worry about me. I'll be fine. I'll let, I'll make sure I let you guys know when I get to Maryland safely. Uh, like I said, I'll be leaving Tuesday and probably landing sometime late that night. I think the plane is scheduled to land at eight o'clock, something like that. But yeah, I'm assuming there's not going to be many people on the plane anyway. Um, if you've seen the fit photos of the airports, like the major airports, there's no one there. <laughs> like, they're so empty because no one wants to fly, which is good because that means, like I said, no one will be on the plane. So I'll be relatively safe. Yeah. So I'm not, I'm actually not afraid of, of the virus itself. That's never been my concern. My concern is how the world is re overreacting and kind of putting everyone else in these positions. Like, the fact that my university has made the decision to kick us out stuff like that that's what i'm 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 stressed about is not the actual virus it's the reaction of the world about the virus so yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed seeing her 
and just listening to me talk about what's going on and like I said, I'll make sure to keep you guys as updated as I can. And if you want to see like real time updates, that'll be on my Instagram. So yeah, I hope you guys have a better week than I am having. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video, probably when we get to Maryland. Bye.